This is Steve Schiffman. I want to thank you very much for joining me today in this particular podcast. Today, I'm going to address an issue that I think is kind of important because salespeople are afraid of what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you that one of the key elements of sales is being persistent and consistent in what you do. But most salespeople back off from that because they're afraid of being too pushy. That's what I hear all the time. I mean, I've talked to hundreds of thousands of salespeople, 500,000. And they tell me the same thing. Well, I don't want to be too pushy. I don't want to sound like a salesperson. But that stops you from succeeding. Look, the reality is that habits are the key to our success. Listen to it again. Habits are the key to our success. The key to that is finding out what habits work for you and then using the same things over and over again as much as necessary in order to succeed. For example, I use basically the same approach when I meet somebody for the first time. I have the same approach that opens up the conversation. I want that conversation to go my way. So I open it a certain way and I get the answers that I want in order to make ultimately the presentation that I'd like to make. So I'm consistent in what I do. I'm consistent in everything. Now, habits are the key to our sanity. I've said that. But are you really thinking about the habits that you have every day as a salesperson? Now, you have habits that you don't even think about. When you go to work, most likely you drive the same way every day. And I'll tell you how you know that, because you know how long it takes you to get to work. Oh, I've got five minutes. I'm going to be late because you're on the wrong street, because you know. If you were there earlier, if you followed the habit, you'd be there on time. So one of the things that you have to think about are what habits work for you. I told somebody that I coach recently, I want you to make a list of everything you do every day. He said, wow, well, that's going to take forever. I said, no, just write it down every day. Just write down what you've done, not what you're going to do, but what you've done. Well, he started to do that. And then he called me about five days later and he said, you know, it's the same thing every day. I said, yes, that's the point. It is the same thing every day. There's prospecting, there's making a presentation, there's writing up the necessary information. But there are going to be certain things that you need to do every day, no matter who you are. And the day that you decide to stop, the day you decide to stop and change habits becomes a difficult day for you. So one of the first things is you've got to be consistent. Learn to do things the right way and continue doing them so long as they work for you. Now, I've talked to you before about reinvention and there are times to reinvent. There are times when you have to be different, when things plateau and things aren't working for you for whatever reason. But we're not talking about this now, we're talking about right now, getting into, I'm gonna call it this way, the rut, but it isn't, getting into the rut or on the track to success. That's what you wanna think about. That's how you think about that. Now, the second thing we talk about is persistence. Consistency and persistence. You have to know that you're gonna do the same thing the same way every day. I do that. You get up the same time every day. You go to sleep pretty much the same time. You read the same newspapers or the paper or you use your computer. You write to the same people. So what's wrong with that? Nothing, nothing. But you have to be persistent. Now, here's the issue. The issue for you as a salesperson is what do you say when you call the person back? See, you've got to be persistent. You don't know what to say. So you call up and say, hey, I'm just checking in, which means nothing. So the way to handle that is to say something different, such as, Mr. Prospect, I don't notice if you notice page five where I pointed this out. Did you notice page six where I gave you this? See, that's the way to say it because then you have a conversation. Remember the definition of a prospect is in fact somebody who's engaging with you. That person has to engage with you. They have to respond to you and you have to respond to them. But there has to be a reasonable conversation. You can't just call somebody up and say, how are you? I mean, that's not the conversation we're talking about. But what happens is when you simply call somebody up and say, hey, I'm just checking in, that means nothing. So the two words that we've taken away today are consistent and persistent. Those are two key words 
for successful salespeople. They're consistent and persistent. That's you. You want to be successful. Let's be real. That's what you want to do. And I don't care what success means to you. If it means a lot of money, a little money, a house, a new house, a new car, it doesn't make any difference to me. But you know the definition of success. You know what you want. Then get it. Get it. The single best way for you to achieve your success is, get ready now, write it down. Yes, just write it down. Get a piece of paper and write down on the top of the piece of paper or write on the computer, this is what I want. Just write that. And then put it in, literally write in what you want, how much, how many, when, where. Put that in that list. Then take that list and put it up on a wall that you're going to see every single day. Maybe it's a mirror. Every single day you're going to see that. And it gets you closer to the goal. Now, one thing, one caution. If you have a significant other in your life, they have to agree with that goal or it's not going to happen. But if the two of you agree and you say, that's what we're going to do, then you have the support necessary to make it happen for yourself. So you can be anybody you want. For years, for years, in the beginning of the year, actually towards the end of the year, my wife and I would sit down and take a piece of paper. We'd write down what we wanted for this year coming up. Now, the funny thing is, they're not big things. It wasn't like we would climb Mount Everest or something. It was like, get cabinets, get a couch, carpeting. I mean, when we started out, we had nothing. So simple things, it was so ridiculous. But we were able to accomplish those. See, because we knew what we wanted to do. That's what you need to do, too. You need to know what it is that you want to do. It's not just saying, oh, I want to be rich. That's irrelevant. What do you want to do? And what do you want to be remembered for? Think of it that way. I mentioned to you once before in one of these broadcasts that you should write out your own obituary. Oh, I heard about that. I said, write out your obituary. What do you want to be remembered? How do you want to be remembered? What's your legacy? And I am sure it is not selling copiers. There's something else. Maybe it's your kids, maybe it's your charities, whatever it is. But go for that and use your job, use sales as a way to achieve those goals for you and others. Anyway, this is Steve Schiffman. I want to thank you very much for joining me today. You know that you can reach me at 646-341-6947 or on the internet, steveshiffman.com, S. Schiffman, at Steve Schiffman, in email. But let me know. You know, we're doing some great, great coaching. We've got about 20 people we're working with, and I have time for some others, if you're interested. It's a good program. It's easy. And it's, one of the, kind, it's the kind of thing. That's five weeks. And if you don't like it, you just say, I'm not going ahead and you stop. It's the easiest thing in the world, but it accomplishes or will help accomplish your goal. Okay. Hey, listen, I want you to have a great week. I'm talking about a great week where you feel like you've done something really, really good. Let me know if it happens to you, it will. Because I'm telling you, I'm telling you to make it happen. I'm telling you to have the greatest week that you possibly can. And then let me know. Steve Schiffman, thank you very much for today. And as always, you humble me by your participation.